All right, hey guys, it's Paul. So um, over on APS Plus today, opening a product that just arrived in the mail. This is actually from Amanda LaPalm, and it's a new deck box that she's apparently been working on. She messaged me and said she was gonna send over an early sample. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. And in the process, test a few, uh, test our new sort of studio setup, lighting and stuff, camera, I got camera B over there. Um, Alex is holding it. So, you are probably wondering, who is Amanda LaPalm? Who the heck is that? And if you're newer to the community, you might not actually know who she is, bit of an OG, but you have probably seen some of her work, I can guarantee you that. She is an artist, and although she draws many things, um, I follow her on Twitter and Instagram, she is especially known for drawing really cool Yu-Gi-Oh artwork, and I mean really quite good. Um, I think she started out I want to say just doing like extended card arts. I remember her turning like a tour guide from the underworld into like Misty with Gyarados in the background. I remember um, there was Levier. She turned Levier the Sea Dragon into a Lugia and then they used to like sell for a lot of money on eBay. Now she makes her own playmats, deck boxes apparently, also field centers, um, dice, all these, all, a lot of really neat stuff. Okay, so. Um, Inside we've got packaging paper. That's it, that's the video. No, um, we have, oh my God, wow. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm assuming the deck box itself is in here. That's gonna be cool, but first, there is a binder. Also, I should probably mention, this is, uh, since it's a review sample, this probably isn't exactly what you would expect from the final packaging of a product like this. I think it'll be a little bit more attractive, but, that's not what we're here to gauge now, is it? So first of all, this binder that we have here, this is a, uh, is this? This is Galatea, the Orcus monster, Galatea. And on the back is Longirsu. So we're gonna just slide this out here. Alec, it is like, it's not only embossed, this is embossed in, but also, it's got like a, like a microfiber, like, surface, like, this is, you want to touch it? Here, come, real quick, just come, you, you want it in here, you, it, it feels good, just touch it. All right, and then also, yeah, on the back, got long gear suit, which is pretty awesome, so, uh, yeah, and it is a binder. I've been noticing a lot more binders like this, but this one is like, Kind of a step, like more binders that have been doing the whole, like I saw like a Book of Moon binder, I've seen an Alistair binder, but this is unique. Uh, it's just, it, it's like a fully drawn piece and the inside is a pretty standard binder. Microfiber interior, I'm glad that's becoming a standard thing. Got black pages. It smells, it smells like the factory. I mean, I guess of course it does, but it's just, it's a distinct smell. All right this aside for a moment. Now it's time for the star of the show, the cardboard box. No, it's what's inside the box. This is a deck box, first covered in bubble wrap, for safe, secure packaging. Oh my god, you guys got to see the design before I did. Look at this. Oh, Alec, you know what this is, don't you? Look at that. Uh, that looks pretty dope. Yeah, what is this? This is Anjuamon? That's right. Anjuamon from Digimon. This feels... I like the feel of this. This is... I think this is full grain leather, if I am correct. Uh, I want to be entirely sure of that, but I'm... Pretty sure that's what it is, and when it opens, ooh, I like that secure opening. Like it's a, I like a deck box with secure. Like I've, I've used a few that kind of fly around, so this feels nice. Oh whoa, look at this, look at this. Oh my god, that is also on Juamon. So I think Amanda has actually done like art for the insides of you know like gym like deck boxes and things like that. But like, gold 
like gold, like gold. This smells good. I don't know. Am I like, right, like focusing too much on the smell here? Yeah, that's a bad look right now. Don't smell it. Oh, God. She smells incredible. Valentine Um, <laughs> I'm having a laugh. Chill out, people. Jeez. Okay, so. Yeah, other than that though, it's a mostly standard looking deck box, although this kind of like cream off-white interior speaks to me a lot. Um, this rose gold coloring speaks to me a lot. I don't know why. Like normally I'm not, to be like, like full disclosure, I'm not really like big on like rose gold and like pink stuff and all that, but this feels, I guess it's like understated and classy as opposed to, anyway. So, oh, it's one of these deck boxes. So it seems like basically these, the dice component, which is here, you keep dice in here, I guess really anything in here, is actually completely detachable. It's magnetic though, so, is it magnetic? Usually these are magnetic. I guess with, oh yeah, okay, it, it is magnetic. Of course I couldn't tell. Um, so this detaches, that's kind of cool. You can like set it to the side so you can have your dice on hand and not have to like fit it in your deck box. Um, yeah, but this off-white color on the inside is really cool. And I can't be 100% sure, but I feel like the frame, like the structural frame feels a little bit thicker than other deck boxes, which I would assume then means more rigidity, more longevity. Um, I like it. It's interesting. I, I like the cream white interior, although I guess that's, I don't call it a criticism, because I have to probably use this for longer to tell. I feel like the fact that it's sort of separate, like the white is separate from like the pink exterior, makes me wonder if since they're like different materials, if that would make them maybe more, is fragile the word? I guess like prone to, I don't know, but that's something that I, I can't say for sure in a video like this. Like this is just a, just, just an unboxing Kind of reaction type of deal um yeah it folds right up and then you've got you know what would have been cool if it, it was like anjuman and then anjuman was like inside or like vice versa or something i mean i know like anjuman probably sells better like waifu and all that stuff but just the concept i'd get it would you get it you get it okay anyways yeah that's pretty much it uh this stuff it feels really good i I think between the two, I really like the binder. The deck bots I'd have to use a while, I suppose. Um, I'm not as big a Digimon fan as Alec is, so maybe you'll do the, do the testing of this for me. But um, I like it. I mean, honestly, I really do. Shout outs to Amanda LaPalm for sending it over. Um, I don't really have full details on like a release, so... I know she has a website where she sells all of her stuff, and like I said before, she's got social media, so you can follow her there and probably get the more uh, in-depth details, but I have to say, first impressions are really good. Uh, I'm falling in love with these types of binders, so. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, check her out, I'll try to link it all in the description, and that's gonna be it, so fast turn.